everybody. Uh, welcome to Technique Tuesday. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas despite this being the year of COVID. Um, I hope it didn't damper your celebrations um, with your family, whether it was via Zoom or with those in your same household. Um, I do know I didn't let it damper my Christmas. I was able to uh, celebrate with my spouse um, as well as see my mom this year so that was great. Um, so today's Technique Tuesday is I'm going to show you how to create this fun um, little uh, bokeh background. Hi Gail, thanks so much for tuning in and joining me. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys today how to create this fun little background and I'm using a new stamp set um, that is going to be available in January. Um, it's called the A Touch of Ink Stamp Set and this is actually a celebration stamp set. So with every $120 order you place in January or starting in January, um, you can pick this as one of your free items. Um, so that's super cute. This set, I'm just going to show you here, is a very big set. It is two full stamp sets within one. That's why um, it's one of our level two earning celebration products. Um, so here it is here. It's super cute. Love it. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I created this fun little background here. So I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Um, this measures uh, three inches by four inches. And I'm just going to get my little rubber mat here. And I'm going to get some old retired washi tape. You could also use some painter's tape as well. And I'm just going to tape off some a small border around my piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to tape it right to my mat. And I'm going to go on all four sides just because I want that same border on all sides. Like I said, you could use washi tape or uh, painter's tape works really well. But I've got some old washi tape that I'd like to use up. Alright, so just like that. I'll set my washi tape to the side here. So I'm just going to start by uh, coloring in my background. And I've picked out a few colors here that kind of go well together. So I've got Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Pool Party, and Misty Moonlight. And I'm just going to start with the pool party and I'm going to use our new uh, blender brushes. These are also going to be available in January in the new catalog. And I'm just going to get some pool party color and I'm going to add a couple of... This background takes has a few steps but it looks really cute once it's done. So I'm just going to keep blending. So I'm happy with the color I've got there. Okay, so I'm happy with that one. I'm just going to put away my pool party. And I'm going to get out my next color. I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. And again, I'm going to use the same brush because I don't mind that the colors blend because they're going to blend on my piece of paper. And I'm just going to pick kind of like a couple of spots. Just like so. Blend this one this way a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to get Bermuda Bay. And same thing, I'm just going to put a couple of circles of color here and there. Just kind of blend it in with my colors that are already on my cardstock. And last color is Misty Moonlight, and I'm just going to do very little of this one because it's pretty dark. I'm going to bring it in from the side here. And the reason why I'm using my rubber mat for this is because I can easily clean it off and I don't have to worry about uh, dirtying my desk. I'll do some here. Uh, a little bit in this corner. I need a little bit more dark here. There we go. Okay, so I've got my background going. Now, what I've done is I've taken a piece of vellum 
and I've cut out various hole sizes. Um, so I believe this one is about a one inch hole. Um, we've got one and a half and two and a half, or sorry, two and one and a half. My apologies. So that's what I'm going to use here. Is these? It's kind of like a like a vellum template that I'm going to keep. So you can see I've already used it here. And what I'm going to get is my um, Whisper White ink pad. And I've got a little sponge dauber. And I'm just going to start with my biggest circle. And I'm just going to put get some Whisper White ink. Put down my template and hold it. And then I'm just going to smudge around the edges to kind of get the circular motion. And this kind of makes your dots. So here, I got that one done. So that you can see there, I've started to get some circles. I'm going to put another one on this side. Again, I'm just going to hold my template down. And you don't need much ink to, you need very little, just to make your circles. So see, just like that. Now I'm going to work up with, I'll do the bigger size, and they can overlap. So here I've got the next biggest, or next smallest, I guess. Just use my little sponge dauber. We'll do one there. Uh, do one in the middle here, where there's nothing yet. This card does take a lot of layering, but it looks super cute once you're done. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to use my smallest circle. So I'm going to do one here. And each time you do this technique, your cards are going to look a little different. So that's what's super fun about it. Do one here, and I'll put one down here. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to take just my sponge dauber and get a little bit of ink. And I'm just going to make a couple of circles about the size of the dauber. And just smoosh it in a little bit so they're not too, too white. There, just like that. Oops. I'm satisfied with that. Just gonna brush off some of the ink a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna close up my ink pad. And I'm just gonna get my heat embossed tool just to dry it off a bit because I find that the whisper white ink takes a little bit of time to dry, so I'm just gonna dry it now. Hi Kathy, thanks for joining in and sharing my beautiful video. Sorry, bear with me with the noise. I just want to make sure my card background is nice and dry. The nice thing with it being taped down as well is when you're drying it, it won't curl up on you. Okay, that should be dry. So I'm just going to set that aside. And now I'm going to carefully peel off all my washi tape. And see how it leaves a nice little clean, crisp white border? I'll just hold that up here. So you guys can get a better look at it. How cute is that background? Ooh. Carefully peel it off. Washi tape can sometimes rip your paper, so I find if you kind of like pull it at an angle, like a 45 degree angle like this, it comes off nice and clean. And what's nice about the rubber mat is it doesn't stick to the rubber mat either. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside for now. And I'm just gonna get a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I've got my hummingbird image on my block here. And I'm just going to ink up my little bird, stamp them down. Now, unfortunately, this stamp set does not come with dies, so I did have to fussy cut out my little bird, but he's pretty easy to cut out. So it's not too bad. Okay, so now it comes with this, I don't know if you can see this fun image for coloring, so it makes it super easy. And you can see I have uh, three different colors here, and it's just the way I ran it through um, on my my ink pads here so for this I'm just going to try and get his top half and 
his body. I did get his wings a little bit. So oh, what I'm going to do is I've got a little baby wipe here. I'm just going to wipe off his wings because I want them a different color. There you go, just like that. Don't need this one anymore, so I'm just going to set it aside. Um, I'm going to do his wings in this Bermuda Bay. So now I'm going to just put his wings in the ink pad. You can see the multicolors I'm getting on my stamp now. Um, and for his belly, I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. So I'll just go and put that in there. Put this away. I've got a little ink on my block, so I'm just going to clear it off before I make a mess. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp. If you can see, I've got the three colors on my stamp. I'm just going to stamp it on my little hummingbird. I'll see if I can line it up without getting my head in the shot. <laughs> there, how cute is he? I like these types of stamps because they almost look like they've been watercolored. Um, so it looks, it's not like perfect, which is what I like about it. So now I'm just going to put that scrap aside. I'm just going to cut out my little hummingbird. And while I'm cutting him out, I just want to let you guys know, um, for anybody who was planning or wanting to attend the Under My Umbrella Zoom class, um, it was originally scheduled for December 30th, uh, but due to shipping delays because of the holidays, um, everybody's stamp sets are late, so I've been sort of forced to um, reschedule the Zoom class. So it's now scheduled for uh, January 12th at 7 p.m. Um, for anybody that has already purchased a stamp set from me, I've sent out the PDF instructions as well as the Zoom link for the new date. Um, for anybody who was still wanting to participate in that class, um, it is, you've got kind of two options to sign up. Um, so you can purchase the PDF instructions. Uh, for five dollars and I'll send you the zoom link to attend the class and you would simply just use products that you already have to create your own kits using the instructions and then you can join us to put the kits together um, your other option is uh, for twenty dollars I will send you the PDF instructions as well as the zoom link to attend the class but I'll make up the kits for you and I'll get them hand delivered so if you um, live in the Edmonton and area, I will come drop those kits off for you so that you can join us and make them right along with us. Um, you would just have to use a stamp set that you already have in your arsenal. Um, the other option to attend the class is if you're part of the crafting crew, I have actually offered this class up for free. So just shoot me a message and I'll get off the um, PDF instructions and Zoom link to you so that you can attend the class uh, right along with the rest of us. Okay, so I've cut my little bird out here, um, and I've just pulled out my mat again. I'm just going to wipe it off because I had some ink on it still. And I'm just going to put my bokeh or boca dot background right here. And I want to add, if you can see, this cute little flower. So this is also in this Touch of Ink stamp set. And I'm just going to use some Memento ink that to the side and I'm going to put this flower down here in the corner just like so and then I'm just going to get my chamois here and clean my stamp set off okay so next step so I've got this cute little polka dot background so this is our um, in color designer series paper. So I've already cut out a piece here. This measures three and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch. And I'm just going to get my stamp and seal and put a couple of strips on the back here. Get this, and I'm just going to kind of make it so it's not even. Just like that. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this to the front of my cardstock. So this is your basic A4 uh, measurements. Measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and it's scored at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to go ahead and burnish that. And now I don't know if you can see, but I've added some lines to this cardstock. So the way I did that was simply with a 
stamp and blend marker and a ruler so I'm just going to get out my little rubber mat again now this is a Stampin' Up! mat so if you don't have one I recommend that you pick one up because it's super handy super easy to clean and then you don't make a mess of your desk um, and I've just got a regular ruler here and I'm going to use the brush tip end and I'm just going to take my ruler and go across and make some some lines now if you go on the side like this you see how you get a thick line or you can go from tip and make a thin one doesn't matter I think any size they don't have to be spread apart evenly either it's just to add a little something to the background on your card so this is even optional you don't even have to do this I just think it looks super cute so we'll do one more dot there, or one more line <laughs> don't know the difference between lines and dots. Okay, I'm just going to clean off my ruler with my baby wipe. Put that aside because I don't need that anymore. So we're ready to assemble our card. So you're just going to basically glue this down. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal. And I'm going to go and put that down just like that. And then to put my little hummingbird on, I'm going to pop him up with a couple of dimensionals. So I've got some dimensionals here. I'm just going to put one on his head, one on his wings, and one on his butt. Just to make sure I got him on there good enough. Okay. Uh, it's going to be right about here. Okay, and now I've got this cute little saying here. And the reason why I left this till the end... Um, is because I wanted the saying flat with the bottom of my card, not based on how the cardstock is. So you see how this one is? This one's a little bit different. It's leaned to the right, so I stamped it so it was straight with the bottom of the card and not straight with the bokeh dot background that we just created. So I've got my little saying here. It says, hello, friend. Again, I'm just going to get my Memento ink pad, ink up my stamp, and stamp it towards the bottom of my card there and just to finish it off I am going to add some of these um, artistry bloom adhesive back sequence um, there's some blue ones in there that I'm gonna throw on so I've got these out already I'm just gonna take my take your pick tool and the reason why I like these little sequins on this card is because I've already got the circles on the background so these circles kind of mimic what's already in the background I'll put one there and there you go there you have it so hopefully you guys found that card super cute and easy to make definitely try it out yourself try out some different colors um, the bokeh background is super fun um, oh hi Denine I'm so glad you can join as well I'm just having a look here to see who was able to join and Mary thanks for joining oh Denine I'm glad you found your mat I use mine a lot I almost use it more than grid paper now um, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this cute little hummingbird card. Um, and have a fantastic New Year's if we do not see you. Uh, actually, I will be live on Friday. It'll be Fancy Full Friday. So um, we'll see you on New Year's, hopefully. Have a great night day, everybody. And thanks for tuning in for Technique Tuesday.